welcome to all who are joining us uh, via Zoom uh, for this open portion of our meeting where we will consider uh, several uh, amendments to the rules of the board uh, for the purpose of uh, this uh, open meeting. Uh, I've asked Julia Lee to uh, serve as uh, recording uh, secretary. So we, we do have, I think, three actions uh, before us. And, and the first of them is an amendment to actually updating the, the rules uh, regulating appearances by members of the City Planning Commission. Uh, we've, we've had a meeting on this. We discussed it uh, at our last meeting. And uh, before us today is the question whether to refer it uh, for a public hearing. Uh, we, we had a few uh, proposed changes last time. Uh, I think uh, maybe uh, Chris could take us uh, through whatever changes there were since our last, since our last meeting. Absolutely, I'm happy to. Sure. Um, so, so at the last meeting, uh, the board uh, approved the submission of the, the proposed rule to the law department and mayor's office of operations. Um, they've performed the review. Um, uh, as, you, as you recall, we also, the board also asked us to specifically uh, refer the question of uh, the uh, Economic Development Corporation and local development, cor uh, 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 local uh, development corporations to uh, the law department to make sure that we were uh, approaching, the, the board was approaching that question uh, appropriately. Uh, they've done so and they, they, uh, 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 they uh, uh, the law department was, uh, you know, believed that, that the, uh, the rule is, is sufficient to, to, uh, 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 to reach the, uh, the EDC and, and local development corporations as the board, uh, as the board uh, wanted to, uh, and uh, only had a couple of very minor stylistic changes to the proposed uh, statement of basis and purpose. Um, uh, um, and so those are, uh, those are listed in the, uh, uh, in the exhibit three in track changes format. Um, I think there's a uh, change of into to as. There's a uh, instead of having the numbered uh, uh, the three numbered uh, uh, statements of what the proposed rule will do in a single paragraph, it is uh, broken up into three uh, three separate uh, three separate lines. There's a new line for each each number, uh, and then a minor change to the uh, uh, minor proposed change to the title of the rule. So these are all very, uh, you know, in my opinion, very, very minor uh, stylistic changes. Do members of the board have any comments on those changes or any further suggestions? So hearing none, do I have a motion to, uh, to proceed uh, with the public hearing on, on, on these rules? So moved. And a second. This is one. All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Okay, so we'll proceed with that. Uh, the next item on the agenda, A2, are amendments uh, to uh, rules 1-13 and 1-17 on the use of city time and resources uh, for, for, for certain purposes and also uh, to do make clear uh, that uh, those who are accomplices uh, to uh, the violation of Chapter 68 uh, may also uh, be, uh, be sanctioned. Uh, these, these have uh, gone to a public hearing. Public hearing was held, uh, and now they're back before us uh, simply to to uh, vote to have them uh, publish as final rules. Uh, I yes. think they'll, they'll be published uh, in the city record and then uh, 30 days beyond that, they become uh, official rules of the city of New York. 
So that's correct. Are there any uh, objections to, to proceeding uh, along this course? Uh, if not, uh, why don't we proceed and uh, publish them? Okay, all in favor? Yes. Okay, we're in favor. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and, and finally, that there's a rule on endorsements. Uh, and uh, this now is, uh, I guess, ready to submit to the uh, city record for a hearing. Uh, if, if there are, are no proposed changes. One, one question I have here is uh, city uh, employees need the approval of their agency head uh, to, 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 to uh, engage in endorsements. And of course, uh, elected officials like the district attorneys and others serve as their own agency head. My question is, does an agency head uh, need the approval of a deputy mayor uh, to, to proceed? That's a, that's a formulation we use in many of the rules. I don't see it here. Uh, I don't know, is that purposefully left out? Because, you know, it may be yeah. agency had more than others who, who, who may be called upon to endorse uh, specific uh, publications. And, and sure. Um, look, if, if, if I may speak to, to that question, sure. Jeff, um, the, uh, it, it was a purposeful omission to, uh, to not, uh, not to require an agency head to uh, obtain the approval of the de deputy mayor for uh, uh, for uh, approving an agency's uh, uh, an agency the the agency head's use of his or her title for uh, uh, for these these purposes uh, when uh, when the 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 the, uh, the the rules that in, include uh, agency uh, include deputy mayor approval. Uh, are, uh, as a general matter, uh, uh, personal activities of the, uh, of the agency head. Here, the activities are not personal, you know, private activities of the agency head. They're activities that are, they're, they're actions that are occurring on behalf of the agency. And so under those circumstances, uh, the, the, uh, uh, closest example here is agency fundraising actions, where an agency head uh, uh, approves of a not-for-profit organization that uh, the mission of the not-for-profit is closely aligned with the mission of the agency, approves agency employees to fundraise for that, and uh, uh, including the agency head themselves, the commissioner themselves, uh, that, that action doesn't require uh, uh, approval by a deputy mayor because the, uh, the thinking is that the, the action is in fulfillment of the agency's mission. Um, here again, the action, because this demonstrable nexus must uh, exist between the, uh, the product program and entity and the mission of the agency, uh, that, uh, that agency, a agency's mission, uh, uh, that agency head is in uh, uh, is in the position to to make that determination uh, of uh, what pro products, programs, entities are are so aligned. Um, yeah, so that's the, our thinking behind that. Yeah, the critical piece here, of course, is that the agency head can't be associated with the uh, entity or persons employed by that entity. So they're no, they, they can't have a personal interest in it so it's, it's you know pretty safe so i guess what we're saying then is that the agency head uh is in the best position to make the determination whether the endorsement furthers the purposes of the agency and I, that's and right I, yes i understand that are there any comments on on this before we proceed to, I guess, uh, publish it for a hearing. Uh, we have a motion for that. But, uh, we, did, uh, we did receive a comment prior to, uh, yes, uh, a, a comment from a board member. Um, 
uh, that would include uh, uh, that would include in uh, on page uh, page five of the uh, of the proposed notice of hearing um, in section A Romanet uh, Roman numeral two uh, of the uh, of the proposed rule uh, to indicate person or entity uh, uh, that's associated. Um, and so that, that would, uh, again, make sure that the realm of associations uh, that, that are covered by the rule includes both persons and firms, which is, you know, which is what had been originally meant. It's reasonable to me. It's all in favor of uh, proceeding. Have a yes. motion. Okay. Opposed. None. Okay. So, so just oh, sorry. I, I we need to. Uh, I think uh, we need to talk just a little bit about uh, the question about um, on item A two. And I'm sorry we moved past this maybe a little too quickly, but about. Um, Board Rule 117, which is presently occupied by a right. by a rule that, and we just, I think we just need to make sure that the that the the board uh, agrees um, that we're going to move that rule uh, rather than uh, repeal it. Yeah. Um, per 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 your uh, suggestion on that, so the the proposal would be instead of repealing the. Um, you know, essentially the, the rule that was, that is presently sitting at 117 and is um, dormant, uh, moving that to board rule, uh, I think we said 4-06, um, which is that, that would put it in the chapter for annual disclosure. And I just, I want to make sure that the board is okay with that move instead of repeal. I, I think the reason uh, for that is the original proposal to uh, repeal it to, to, to make room for the new 117 uh, proceeded on the assumption that this rule is, uh, is does not exist and is invalid. This was the rule that was adopted uh, pursuant to the administrative code directed to the board uh, to promulgate a rule uh, that provides a, 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 an appeal procedure uh, for those who, who, who are said to, 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 to be included in those who uh, file financial disclosure reports. And the board did that. Uh, it does apply to all. Uh, following that, uh, DC 37 brought an unfair labor practices uh, proceeding before the Board of Collective Bargaining, which I think back in 2010 or so, uh, ruled that indeed there had to be collective bargaining with regard to this section for the union. Uh, since then, uh, DC 37 has been governed, uh, Julia can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, by, by a collective bargaining agreement, and in fact there haven't been appeals by others. But the rule itself, uh, in my view, uh, and I, I guess now uh, the staff agrees, it, is still alive and would apply to anybody other than DC 37 uh, members who do appeal. So that rather than repealing it, uh, what we've uh, done, and I guess the law department is on board on this, is, is, is just to move it, to move it into the uh, provisions that deal with financial disclosure. And we could, you know, if you want to uh, revisit this, so we can do that when we look at uh, the financial disclosure rules, and there may be some tweaks to it we may want to, 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 to do, but I think for now just moving it out of the way uh, of, of, of this new, uh, this, the promulgation of this uh, totally unrelated uh, rule is, is, is the way I think the best way to proceed. Is that Yes, and fair? as Jeff, oh. yeah. go ahead. Yeah. As, as Jeff said, uh, the law department has, has uh, 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 notified us yesterday that that this would not require a you know re rehearing that we could do this uh, simply by uh, renumbering the rule, not making any changes to it, putting it in uh, in chapter four. 
Okay, does that clarify it? Okay, so I guess this would end uh, the public uh, portion of our uh, meeting. Uh, thank you for any who have attended, for attending, and uh, we will now proceed with the rest of the agenda.